Good afternoon. It's March 1st, 2022. This is Steve Jones. I am on the east end of the Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge, and I'm standing in an area that suffered a tornado on January 1st that evening when a powerful cold front came through. I'm looking now through the east. I think you can see in the distance Blackwell Swamp and I'm looking through the debris from the tornado. There's a stump of a large loblolly pine tree probably close to 30 inches in diameter and looking north now and you can see the end of the tornado swath there is a pretty much untouched stand of 100 foot tall loblolly pine trees i'm swinging now around to the west and over here is a jumble of fallen blown over loblolly pine and i got into the cutoff ends here and these pine trees are somewhere in a neighborhood of 80 to 90 years old i was reluctant to get too far in there because i didn't know if things were stable or not but my guess is these loblolly pine were planted about the same time that the refuge was created and when the corps of engineers bought land to surround or uh, to buffer the edge of Lake Wheeler. Again, I'm just gonna swing up here, gonna walk a little bit further where you can see a large root that ripped out of the ground when the tornado came through. A violent, violent episode, I'm sure, at my house, which is about, oh, 13 or 14 miles due north of here. We had two tornado worn storms come through that evening and one of them was close enough that we retreated to the storm shelter and it may have been this one. I was uncertain where it had hit, if it had even touched down, but here's clear evidence that it did in fact touch down. And again, you can see the edge and I think it touched down pretty much near here because as I came down the road and looked to the west, I saw just an occasional broken tree, but nothing like this wide swath right through here. And again, here is that big root ball, and you can see that it tipped over very violently and pine branches lodged on top of it. You can see the standing spars of the broken off loblolly pine. There's one about 25 feet tall. And again, just there at the edge, very little damage beyond that loblolly pine tree line. That's it for Steve Jones commenting on one of nature's uh, violent disturbances in this area. Uh, the, the, shoot, the uh, refuge crews have cleared the road but this area, uh, as devastated as it is, will act as a force of renewal. Uh, the other side of that is the temporary devastation. The scar will be here for some time, but this is an act of nature's renewal process. That's it, Steve Jones, Great Blue Heron.